Just like other Adobe software, Adobe Flash has several different tools that you can end up utilizing. You'll notice that for my portfolio, I ended up creating two different sizes of squares. I have the ones in the middle that are going to lead us to different pages. And then on the corners, I have overlapping squares. Now when it comes to Adobe Flash, you have two different ways to draw with your shape tools. The default is known as merge drawing. The other is object drawing. What we're going to do is we're going to end up selecting our rectangle tool. After you left click on it, make sure that you go to the fill color. Change it to your favorite color. Then go ahead and left click and drag and let go to create your first rectangle. Now go back over to your fill color, switch it to another color, and then make one more rectangle by left clicking and dragging letting go, but make sure that it's overlapping the previous rectangle. Now after we do that, I want you to end up selecting your black arrow tool, also known as the selection tool. Go ahead and left click and drag on the rectangle that is overlapping the other one. By doing so, you'll notice something funny that happens. Only the fill color ended up going, and our stroke is left behind. So I'm going to undo that last step and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my left mouse that will end up selecting both the fill and the stroke. And now I can left click and drag it away. But you'll notice that something funny has happened to my blue rectangle. This is because we are on merge drawing. Basically meaning that when you draw shapes on top of one another they are going to merge together. So the solution to merge drawing is object drawing. So what we're going to do is with our rectangle tool selected over here or any of the shape tools we're going to go down to the bottom and there's this option that looks like a circle drawn inside of a square. This is how you turn on object drawing. Go ahead and left click on it change your fill color back to your favorite color and now we're going to left click and drag our first rectangle but instead of going back to the fill color I want you to immediately left click and drag the second rectangle after you let go you can now go over to your properties window and change the current rectangles fill color now back up to your selection tool and now left click and drag the green rectangle or on your screens the one that's overlapping the other and you'll notice that both the stroke and the fill color are following you'll also notice that my blue rectangle is not having any type of effect and is not being cut away so you have to be extremely careful when you're using the different drawing tools if you have an idea in mind or a way that you can cut out different shapes and leave different parts of the shape by themselves and create patterns with them then I would suggest staying on the merge drawing tool but if you just want shapes that you can overlap with one another and make sure that nothing ends up happening to them you should always go down here and select your object drawing in order to get back to merge drawing all you have to do is click off of this object drawing and now you're back to where we were in the beginning. So there you have it. There's the two different ways of drawing in Adobe Flash. One way keeps everything together. The other way will end up cutting your materials and leaving parts behind. So choose wisely when you end up selecting the specific shape tools and the drawing techniques that you'll end up using with them.